people around us we do not even like. You know how uncomfortable they make us. Yet, when we love you, Lord, anything and everything is possible. Enable us to see others through your eyes. Encourage us to listen to others with your ears. Motivate us to respond to others with the compassion and understanding you have shown to us. Your love and your power at work in our lives will make all things possible. And hear us as we pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. may be able to speak the languages of men and even of angels, but if I have no love, my speech is no more than a noisy gong or a clanging bell. I may have the gift of inspired preaching, I may have all knowledge and understand all secrets, I may have all the faith needed to move mountains, but if I have no love, I am nothing. I may give away everything I have and even give up my body to be burnt, but if I have no love, this does me no good. Love is patient and kind. It is not jealous or conceited or proud. Love is not ill-mannered or selfish or irritable. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but is happy with the truth. Love never gives up, and its faith, hope, and patience never fail. Love is eternal. Meanwhile, these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Boys and girls, it's good to see you this morning. Wasn't that no great singing? Did you enjoy it? Do you think the mummies and daddies are singing well this morning? Well, you'll get your chance in a wee minute. What I want to ask you today, would anybody like to tell me what makes them frightened or scared? Tell me. What makes you frightened or scared, Robbie? Um, something frightening. Something scratching, right. What makes you... In the dark. The dark. The dark. We'll come back to that. What makes you scared? Tiger. A big tiger. Arr! What makes you scared? Um, You're thinking about it. I'll come back to you in a minute. What makes you scared, Ruth? A lion. I don't think there's many lions and tigers about Bond Hill, but never mind. What makes you scared? A ghost. A ghost. Oh, oh, what makes you scared? You're thinking about it. I'll come back. What makes you scared? The minister. The minister. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. Hey. <laughs> right. I make the choir scared, but I don't make you scared. As Jesus was starting on his way again, a man ran up, knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to receive eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus asked him. No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not commit murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not accuse anyone falsely. Do not cheat. Respect your father and your mother. Teacher, the man said. Ever since I was young, I have obeyed all these commandments. Jesus looked straight at him with love and said, You need only one thing. Go and sell all you have and give the money to the poor, and you will have riches in heaven. Then come and follow me. We pray that we also may be used as instruments of your grace. In the heat of the day, when tempers flare and patience is not to be found, we pray that we might be understanding and forgiving. When disagreements dominate our lives and conflict seems to confound all our good intentions, help us to be good listeners. Help us to create the climate for agreement. In times of worries over problems, when no solutions are in sight, we pray for new ways of responding to the needs of others. As we worship today, help us to be grateful to others, grateful for the little things, for the children in our congregation, for the music we enjoy at church, and for the joy of being together with family and friends. Turn our thoughts and prayers for others into acts of caring and sharing. Mm -hmm. 